right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live in the house. We got a special guest, a special gift for a lot of you guys here that are going to learn a thing or two, maybe a thing or three. Um, from what we're about to embark on right now, we have an exciting story to kind of roll out here and kind of spill the beans on what happened, how it all worked and where she's at now. Um, I'll let her introduce herself in just one second. Um, if you guys are here, you know the drill, hashtag team replay, hashtag team live. And if you guys are out there, what I want you guys to do is when you hear some gems, some golden nuggets, share those in the comment section. So when you hear something cool, smash the like button, smash the heart button. If you're watching this on another platform, enjoy the party. Get in on the comments. Thumbs ups. We love the comments. We love if you need any help. Well, that's what we're here for. You can feel free to DM us through the process. Um, no qualms about that. So welcome everybody we got my main man cody from the gsd he's my partner here in crime um, we help agency owners coaches consultants create this assembly line agency kind of unlock their potential that you guys have stuck in your body your heads you've absorbed so much information on social on coaches on courses everything our job is to take these disconnected puzzle pieces put them right together and just unlock your happiness your potential your revenue your hiring and enjoy the life they have because guess what we only got one you're not getting two Anyways, back to our guest here. We got Miss Caitlin in the house. Welcome to the show here. Thank you for hopping on and taking some some time out of your precious day. So we're really excited for this one because like just just before I let you introduce yourself, you can kind of give a brief on like what you're up to now. Um, but this is like something like passionate about that me and Cody are so passionate about is because like she's participates so fucking much. She's always so communicative in the chats, in the calls, in our threads, like every day when she needs help, she gets resources. When she needs help, she's absorbing the information, executing the information. But what I really want to kind of highlight is the preciseness of what's important now versus what's going to be important in six months, because a lot of agency owners, a lot of consultants out there. What they look at is knowledge as this buffet of stuff, like going to an all-you-can-eat bar. And it's like, I got to try every little piece, be a master of none, but I want it all right now because I'm so speedy. I need to get to 30000 100000 a month in three minutes, three months, three days, whatever that is. But once we slow down and focus on our priorities, get the, get the foundations right, that's when you're actually going to go faster. So in order to go faster, make more money, slow your roll in the beginning, fix the core root cause of your problems, and then they're gone forever versus stumble past shit. And then you're going to fall flat on your fucking face. You've already tried it. You already know it. And if you're new to this space, it will happen. That crystal ball is right now here in front of you. Get that foundation right. Then you'll be able to scale up. With that being said, welcome, Caitlin. Thank you for coming on here. Guys, Thank please drop so some much. love for Caitlin in the comments. Please, please, please. She's sharing her valuable time with us. Smash the heart button for her. Give us some hashtag lives, all that stuff. All right. She didn't have to do this. Nobody has to do this. She's being very nice. She's going to share a story. Drop some questions down there too, Caitlin. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me on. It's, you know, such a honor to be on here, um, you know, and uh, the program has just been so instrumental um, into the development of my agency so far. So I'm just really excited. Awesome. So like you, you're, you're coming from experience too. So it's almost like, I don't want to say this inappropriately, so stop me if I'm wrong, but it's almost like we're embarking on a restart up where you've had like the structure of owning a couple businesses, your best-selling author, and then you came to us, you come, you came across us, but actually, why don't you tell the crowd, like, how, how did you come across us? Yeah. So, um, you're right. I do own, uh, two businesses. Um, I own my social media agency and then my coaching business, um, bestselling author of unmasking the greatness within. Um, and basically what happened is funny story about a year and a half ago, I was a Walmart employee. I was basically doing, you know, everybody else would do. And uh, in February, I unlocked my purpose of, you know, being able to help people put their authentic message online. But, and because of my prior social media experience, I knew I could do it. So I went very quickly um, out of nowhere from no business to a 20K a month business, which was awesome. But then because I didn't have the systems in place, and everything. And uh, there were groups that were so um, inclusive that if you left them, everybody left your business. Uh, 
it fell apart, I realized I didn't actually have the structure to keep that business going. And so when I came across the GSD, it was like, oh, systems and processes. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like something that I probably need. <laughs> but I was a little gun shy at first because I literally had just lost all my income. And so um, I had maybe two clients, three clients stuck with, uh, that had stuck with me, thankfully. But um, it was basically a choice of, do I pay rent or do I go with this program? <laughs> and um, I had to make the choice of, pay, you know, that choice. And I decided, well, you know what? Um, God has provided me for me th this far. So I'm going to bet on me and my ability to go after it and hope it pays off. And luckily it was the right choice. <laughs> That's amazing. Like going from Walmart, seeing a, an ounce of success and a big ounce 20k is fucking amazing uh, but then not having like the systems in place to sustain it and then it, it it creates like a little bit of stress don't you feel like when you're when you're going up the mountain you're like fuck everybody i can do this on my own i don't need shit i figured it all out but then mm -hmm. when that shit goes downhill the recovery becomes a little difficult right oh absolutely i there were so many different times because during the downfall of my company, you know, um, I also had been basically outsided by an, a group that I had given everything to, you know, and so not only was my business going to crap, my mental state was going to crap, everything was falling apart. And I'm like, <laughs> this is great. This is great. <laughs> Right. So when, when you made that decision to hop on, I know you got a chance to talk to our guy, Jason, like, and you had to choose like skills and income over rent. Like, how did you, how did you make that decision? Did you talk it over with like your, your husband, a significant other, or like, how did you actually make that commitment? Um, so I did tell my husband, um, you know, I, I like, he's really cool. He's like a hundred percent supportive and has always, you know, been, have my back, which is super important in a relationship. Um, and so basically I talked to him and I was like, look, there's this program and it has everything that I don't have, you know, that I don't have the right skills. Like, yeah, could I spend the time to get those other pieces? Yes, but I didn't have the time to do that because I needed to prospect, get clients, all these things. And, um, you know, I only knew the ways I knew, you know, and luckily the program showed me there were other ways. Um, so it was kind of a no brainer at the same time. It was terrifying. Like I knew the minute that, um, the decision came up, what my choice was going to be, but it was communicating it to my husband going, Hey, so we might be evicted in two weeks, but I got this program, you know? <laughs> how do you say that you know but, i'd love um, to know like like the moment of decision because look I, i've talked to a lot of people there's actually a couple of people off the top of my head that it did exactly like what you did they literally gave us their last up and then they they're on to make 20 30 50k months now um and i'd love to hear from you because i don't know if i ever got a chance to ask them like that moment of decision that stress point uh not what was it like but what actually tipped it over for you like what made you say to yourself you know what i trust this i want i'm gonna do it let's just do it. I trust that everything else will be okay. Like how, how, how did that decision point really happen for you? What was the tipping point there? So luckily Jason followed up with me a lot <laughs> um, because if he had not, I probably still would be in the suck suit as I call it. Um, and uh, what happened is he kept saying, yeah, we have this master class coming up about appointment setters. You need to be on it. We have this master class. They're going to help you. And like, even the day of the masterclass, like I was doing something to fully forgot about it. And he texts me the link and is like, here, make sure you're there. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so then I get on the link and I'm like, shit, I know yeah. I need this. <laughs> so uh, shout out to Jason. Great follow-up game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that's that's kind of what we, we would like to do here is like, I know follow up is part of a sales process, but part of our process is also indoctrinating people uh, into that's, knowing that's kind that, of what we, we that like. we're a solution. Um, so, so that's kind of important for us is like basically nurturing people so you feel comfortable and don't feel like you're in a sales process. It feels like you're almost coming into, I don't want to sound corny or cliche, but it's like walking into a family that's going to give everything and everything to help. 
Um, and that's what we train everybody on is like be nurturing, be respectful, be kind, but also be a coach to kick people in the ass to make decisions for their better, their betterment, right? Because a lot of people out there are going to cut off their nose to spite their face, but that just makes no sense. Um, we're only hurting ourselves in the long run. So I love the fact that that the, the leadership that you've constructed, the the ability to be able to even bring on new team members in just a short time, because I think it's been like four or five weeks in the program only. And I mean, shoot, you're you're growing at a rapid rate. And if I kind of go back to the days when when I started my business, um, we, we were doing all the prospecting, everything just as a solo person. And I didn't have like the guts or thought process to even hire somebody. So I went many years um, just doing it all, burning midnight oil at both both sides of the candle. Um, I didn't even think to hire somebody. I wasn't even like, that didn't even cross my mind that, hey, you can get help until somebody said, hey, do you enjoy sleeping on the couch five nights a week for the past three years? And I'm like, huh? What do you mean by that? And then I just opened up my perspective, like, dude, fucking hire somebody. You're doing donkey ass work and you're worth way more than that. Go fucking hire somebody. So then I'm like, shit, I don't, I didn't know I could do that. So some things like even smart people, I think I'm smart. Like we get stuck in our own behavior, our own demeanor, and we're closed minded, like a horse blinder, just going in a circle on a track. Um, and that's why I love having you in the program. It's like, every time I see you light up on the, on the calls or the messenger or the winds, it's just like something is unlocked and it could be something really simple because just like in my post, when I promoted this on my profile today, um, like a small hinge will open a big ass door. Um, and I love the yeah. little tiny tweaks because the boring wins and the boring has to be mastered because that's the basics. And once we have that down, then we get into the fancy stuff. Then we get to the more advanced techniques and the fun, as I call it. It's like, let's earn our way to fun um, and do the shit that's hard and swallow that frog. And then once we do, we got our baseline. Now we have a foundational company that we are prepared for shit like now. Recessions are entrepreneurs' friends. It sucks to the people impacted, but that's also their choice too so you can feel sorry for them or you can push them right so i prefer to push um so so before before the gsd let's kind of back up a minute um like what were you doing on your own to kind of get clients or anything like that like what what got you clients or where did you get stuck before you made that decision so i was in another um i was in a mastermind group um and i had built my way up through there i i'm very much a go giver and I tend to give all I have. And so people naturally came to me because of my ability to give. Like they just referrals were the way I got everything. Um, you know, I got people coming at me left and right going, hey, so-and-so said you did their social media. They love what you do. Can you do mine? You know, and it just kept moving up from there. Um, but like I said, once um, there was that separation from that mastermind, like it was almost like a oh she left uh we can't be a part of her anymore and I was mm -hmm. like really <laughs> you know but whatever um and so that's where I started sinking because I didn't have that outbound skill right I just had this internal you receive the you know you post you get engagement on the post and you take it from there um that's why I was so good at social media because and I am is because I can get clients from my posts and stuff like that mm -hmm. um but I didn't have the oh you can actually you know like outreach to people knowledge and uh so like it was so awkward when I first did my first outreach I'm like oh my god they're gonna hate me you know <laughs> whatever but I got over it really quickly but it was a so skill I had to learn yeah, right. So, so like organic marketing is nothing new. I mean, organic marketing was since the beginning of time, people had to go meet and network. And now we've just evolved it across all these opportunities, like all like Facebook, LinkedIn, love or hate, whatever the platform you're on, it's free to you guys to use in the audience. It's free to me. It's free to Cody until we decide we want to pay some money. But what we're teaching the the method of organic, it's been around forever. Like what, what has been the difference maker from what you've learned from us? Oh my gosh. Um, so first of all, like when I first started doing the courses and stuff and really started to look at, you know, the systems and processes and things, I realized that everything was in my head, not on paper. And, uh, you know, I had one employee that was super awesome and super, you know, 
on top of it. And she had done some of the SLPs for me, you know, but she couldn't do everything. She was my content creator. And so the biggest thing was having systems and processes and not winging it, right? Not like going off of my knowledge, like having actual like scripts, having actual like things that are going to be consistent because when you have something you can measure and be consistent at, you can improve it. And so that was the big difference maker for me. And then now bringing on the setter, you know, that it's just been a night and day. Like I'm seeing the, you know, difference even in the three days that my setter has been like actually working, like she's already got appointments set and, you know, set for me. That, that's amazing. Oh, wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. Three days, yeah. in, three days in, and your appointment center already has one appointment, more appointments. What, what's going on with that? Right two. Now? She has two. So, as I say, so just for everybody out there in the future, because there's people that hear me on sales calls, and I'm like, pretty much right away, you can get about one a day, and then we ramp it up later on. You're three days in, and you're getting daily appointments already from, from that center as part of the process. So I just want to throw that out there to the world. Also, hell yes, love that. Yeah. And no, that's absolutely huge. And then like, how did you find her? Uh, the setter, you guys uh, hooked me up with her. So um, right. you guys, right. um, you okay. know, basically got her for me and it was like an immediate connection. Like when you guys introduced her, like her knowledge and everything she had going, like she had years of experience and all this, like, like, it's crazy. Like I don't have to tell Cheryl what to do. Like she just, I, I will praise her name from the rooftops not even kidding you because like she's like oh I organized this whole file for you in my five minutes on the weekend and I'm like dude you didn't need to do that and you didn't log it in your time and she's like oh no it was fine it was fun I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Cheryl's I, tell, awesome. I tell people all the time too you you treat those kinds of employees well they'll be the best most loyal most hard-working people you can have and that's really what we go out of our way to try and help you guys know that because sometimes you know people will get flaky on those types of things because of miscommunications but with clarity man i tell you they are literally some of the hardest working people and, and most loyal employees you could have so i love share I, I i spent some time with her before so i'm glad you guys are doing so well together. that's amazing exactly uh, you know and that's something that i know like because i did work in so many different jobs before um that it was you know uh so important for me to treat my employees right right like not just treat them like whatever so like the very first thing even with the employee I had from before that's still with me like having daily meetings making sure they're doing okay not just what can I give you to do in my business but also like hey how can I support you what are some areas that I can give you more knowledge in, send you a Luma and things like that? Because when we're supporting them and putting the emphasis on how we can support them, they're going to go out of their way to support us. That, that 100%. Culture and that communication is, is, I mean, I love the way you're saying it. Structure their day, treat them like, we, we call it like the virtual bullpen. And that's what we try to get you guys to do too. Have a structured day, but be a family, be a group, be a team. And they'll feel a part of that. And even beyond monetary applications and, and, and things to get people to want to stay, you start to feel like you have a purpose. You start to feel like you're a part of something. Man, people, people will stay with you forever. So I, I, I love that that's, that's the way that you're doing it and you're following the structure and the process we've laid out and kind of even amplifying it. So yeah, that's amazing, Caleb. Like Absolutely. how is the training of Cheryl and the SOPs that we've kind of provided um, help this process accelerate? Uh, I basically assigned her like the whole VA university thing you guys have. And I was like, look, to be honest, this is all still new to me. Like I sent her some looms on like my specific business stuff and um, some documents there, but she took it and ran with it. Right. Like I had a scripting session with you to figure some things out and all that. But like, if I did not have the, you know, program, I would be like, at, at, like, I'd be sitting there on a call 24 seven with her like, yeah, this is how I do it. But we'll see how it works. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we pride ourselves and it's probably it could be like Cody's hiring style, my hiring style, or just a mix of both um, is we want to make every single person that we hire empowered to make their own decisions and also become quote unquote, the CEO of their position. Because when I hire people, I'm not trying to buy myself a job. 
Um, I'm trying to get scale, right? So I want somebody who can give me instant leverage and instant, like for you, it happened in like three days of just starting with her. For other people, that could be a month or six months or never. It just comes down to their organization, their skills, their coaching they've been through or their leadership. And if they lack it, then they're just going to have to outsource the leadership or just never know they're a bad leader. Um, so, so, so that's, that's commendable there and just keeping her engaged, especially with those morning meetings, they're, they're not necessary every day when we look at it in the grand scheme of things, but what is necessary is the camaraderie and the culture that is developed, that they're wanted and they're part of a bigger thing because we meet for one hour every single day without fail, rain or shine, power, no power we will find a way to figure things out, but we don't miss those meetings because we know if we create a habit of fucking up our culture, it's going to cascade to other areas. It's going to be okay to be late. It's going to be okay to miss it. It's okay to say, hey, dude, I can't make it this morning with bullshit excuses. It's just like, be there, discipline. Let's get our energy. Let's get some fun. Let's tell some jokes. Let's get some knowledge transfer. And then we'll just go on like as if we're in a real physical office. But now we have the world as our oyster. We can hire anywhere but you have to be equipped with the ability to actually train and create that culture because a lot of people want to be wanted. That's really it. You know what I mean? Like whether it's a personal relationship or if it's an employee, they need those pats on the back. And that's what this virtual hug is all about. Um, So anyways, beyond like the, the, the SOPs and, and Cheryl and, and rocking the business, like how was like the, the confidence and like the results been for you since, since we've been together here in these like short months? Oh my gosh. Um, So it's been really cool to see. Um, I have gotten at least three deals now, Um, you know, and I had a four or five week dry spell before that. And I was like, crap, you know, and uh, it's just cool to see that cascade over, right, is to see them start to ramp up and see, like, my attitude and, you know, my overall, okay, I'm not going to be without a house this month, like, you know, and I can pay my employees and we're okay, you know, so it's just been a, a game changer, you know, everything I learned, like, I make it a priority on my schedule, like, everybody knows that when the GSD calls are on, I am not available. Like that's just how it is. Cause the thing is, is even if, you know, it's as easy as, you know, like just sitting there and listening and taking notes, or if I'm, you know, in engaging and stuff, there's always at least one or two nuggets I'm getting, if not more. And then I implement it that day because this thing I've learned from being in different masterminds is you can take all the notes in the world, you can sit back, be a sponge, but if you're not like making the action happening right after, it's not gonna happen, right? It's not, we all just take these notes and run with it. Um, but if you want, actually wanna see it work, you have to implement it. Love that. Yeah. Hey, you know what, before, before Rahul gets into any further things, I kind of want to ask a, a little bit of a question here because I, I love that about masterminds. People tend to, to either get fire hose to the face and then never do anything or don't even show up. Right. And so is there anything specifically about the structure of the, the program and the calls and the support that really stands out to you and has helped you kind of get that going along just for everybody else out there right now? Or has it just been your experience previously? Um, it's also been the structure. So like any other program I've been in, um, you have these group calls once a week, maybe every two weeks, and there's no real accountability, Mm -hmm. you know, and here you're having a call basically every day, you know, and you're having that connection point. And, you know, with is it basically every day or is it literally it's every day? day. It's every day. It's literally hold on, hold on. It's it's every day, sometimes (laughs) twice a day, plus anytime on demand you need help, we hop on. So so for those of you guys out there, I work Sundays, you know. Yeah, yeah, for all of you guys listening out there, the GSD support is every fucking day. How (laughs) how many days is it? Every day every fucking day like there we it's go. crazy the fucking is important right the every is, fucking day you got you support from calls up. live yeah. ask questions breakout rooms chat support facebook group support one-on-one hotlines to get a hold of us so these guys are out there if you think you need a kick in the motherfucking ass we'll <laughs> lend you our foot 
That's how you know you know when Rahul's getting excited because he just can't help himself but swear. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. It's get true. It all that's, Dude, I just listened to like old school Easy E before this, so it got in my head. Damn it, Easy E. You know what? I think that's <laughs> that Chase, Chase Snow. Shout out to Chase has been all over this, uh, all over this post, man. I appreciate you showing up on a bunch of our content lately. You just said hashtag EFD. Is that a GSD? I think mean, EFD every fucking day. Every oh, oh, there we go. Day. EFD. There we go. We got a new hashtag in the house. Yeah, we got a new Love hashtag. It. I love it. EFD every fucking day. We get shit done. All right. I was going to go into a rap, but then I didn't know the thing that rhymes. So I can't. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, let me sure. do a, yeah. a whiskey Thursday before I do any raps. That's that'll have to be in the future. <laughs> that'll be interesting. That'll be an yeah. interesting one. Cody is a good flow, a freestyler, by the way. So if you guys do hashtag freestyle, Cody will spit out a lyrical genius method at the end. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not today, but we got some videos coming your way. Anyways, back to, back to the show's plan with, with Caitlin. So like, other than like the, we have the accountability, we have the, the ISA university that, that anybody out there in GSD land, if you're on this group, this, this free group that we have all this content in, if you need help with the setters, we have a program for just ISA universities. So you can go figure out how to recruit and train people using our methodology after 18 years of doing this uh, might be helpful. You might get some shortcuts to keep people or hire smarter um, and be more impactful and effective for you. So we got the, the setter stuff. We got the, the accountability stuff. We got the sales stuff. What else like have you thought would be helpful, not only for your business right now, now and in the future, but just to help other people listening. Yeah, for sure. So um, like having the ability to write out the scripts with you was huge because, you know, I'm not having the experience in outreach that that made a huge like impact. It's that accountability and that feeling of being a part of the family, right? Because like I literally was like I need help with this and you're like cool here's a one-on-one -on -one calendar let's get this going like in other groups it's like here can you give me more money for that because you know we like to rob the bank here like here it's like we got you you know it's that we got you fam kind of thing and I love that because you know I don't feel like icky about like oh my gosh you know like I'm being an inconvenience you know it's you know you you naturally just help and so that has been huge because you know, you don't feel vulnerable or like, oh gosh, they probably don't, you know, I, they think I'm doing this wrong or stuff like that. I haven't felt that once. I haven't felt judged. I haven't felt like, eh, you know, I felt like, oh, cool. Been there too. Let's do this. We got you. You know, it's like a hand up. You're not doing it like completely for me. You're like showing me the steps to get there, which is like, I appreciate that because now I have the tools to do it myself. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought up that scripting session because we lo live wrote a, a brand new script for whatever industry. I don't even remember the industry. It could have been real estate or something else. Um, but but the cool part about doing it live with me is that you see me make mistakes, type them back. You see me think in a thoughtful process. And part of me doing live scripting with people is just so they know how I'm doing it. So you can see like, oh, uh, you have to actually think. You can't just throw shit at the fucking oh, it's wall like and expect up. it to work. You're not doing it. Yeah, so that that's important. That don't worry about it. Could uh, that's important to me in terms of like knowing how to think and how that thought process works, and then just explaining like here's how I want that prospect to perceive this message. If it goes south, here's how we pivot to a answer like almost like if we offended them type answer, or they say how dare you cold reach me, or how dare you follow up off a two step. We have that backup plan, and then we have our options of like multiple levels of like intimacy as we go deeper. Um, so, so I, I hope that was like my, my goal in writing those and I doing them live with people is so that you can do it without me, because if I can empower yeah. you, then you can take that knowledge and take it to a whole different degree with your specific niche, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Like, um, e even then, you know, like I, I did, I made like two different scripts after that, like of different things. And, uh, because I do have two businesses, I was like, oh. I can use this for here and I can use this for here. Like I was having a party. I'm not even going to lie. Like I was having a scripting party. And believe it or not, the best part about scripts is when they don't work because then we can actually pivot so much faster. Um, and that's what I love about script writing is that we're not actors and we're like Robert De Niro talking to like Julia Roberts, where we know, say this, they say that, say this, we they say that we're talking to human behavior, right? Another human on the end. 
And if it's cold, we come up with a pathway for cold. If it's warm, we have a pathway for warm. It's, if it's a no-show, we have a pathway for no-show. If it's like a lead and they're showing up for a call, we have a reminder sequence. So we have all these warm and nurturing systems and sequences and everything's systematic because like if Cody and I had to like talk to everybody and be like, hey man, like you fucked up the no-show sequence, like here's how to do it. We'd be doing that seven days a week. We're our own team. That's why we systematize, systematize, systematize. Everything we do is like, if I give it Cody an idea, he's gonna be like, all right, cool. I've already diagrammed the document. Like here it is, blah, blah, blah. Like three days later, shit's done. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I just, it's just an idea, man. <laughs> and then it's already done. So, so we're big on systems and, and getting like any ounce we can do to help people be in more places at once without losing control of their minds and their focus of their North Star is the whole goal. Well, and, and, and just to focus on that too, like, Caitlin, do you feel, let's put this question. Do you feel like at any given moment you have direct access to me and me and or Rahul to do anything you need us to do with you? Oh, absolutely. It's funny. Like literally like last week I was like just messaging Rahul. I was like, Hey, blah, 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 you know, after the scripting yeah. session and like he responded, it was like, you know, and so 15 the, the key point here that goes with what Rahul was just saying is, you know, as well as oh, we have like a hundred plus students inside the the program every single one of those people feels the same way and we still have boundaries and we still have everything and the way we're able to do that is through i have very specifically designed our support structure right to be layered so that you always feel like you have a spot of communication to somebody of importance and some of the coach for any of those questions and so literally at any given point people can get their questions answered and feel like they could have this with me at any given point and I don't feel like I'm about to jump off a roof by having 400 conversations <laughs> every single day, right? That's the importance of, of systems and scale. And that's what we try very hard to help you guys also implement in your own businesses so that you can succeed that way. So I, I, I love it. I think that's great. And do you know what our secret is for our support? Anybody in the comments, mm. anybody out there? I just put it on, the, on my screen. Can you see it on my screen? It's this. Love. Heart. It's love. Is secret ingredient always love. <laughs> it's just like it's just like mama's food. The secret ingredient is always love. <laughs> yeah, we go all from right. every fucking day to being like love. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Awesome. So, what what else? Like, what else are you going to be working on, Caitlin? What can we support you so we can get you to that next level? What's what are you most excited about next? I'm really excited to start, um, you know, as the appointments run through, really starting to close those. Um, and then, you know, as basically that happens, you know, being able to build the team, right? Like scale the business and be able to, you know, work on uh, having those processes and systems. You know, the cool thing too is, you know, cause I go all in or not. Um, <laughs> I've also been, you know, working on my automations and stuff you know, learning from that and from a friend having help with that because automation's not my thing. Um, but uh, the big thing with the GSD is my next thing is going to be once I have the sales where I can hire another appointment setter doing that and then hiring some more content creators and just scaling this up, right? Um, and stepping more into that CEO role. That's like my ultimate you know, thing is not having to do it all, right? Like, and that's, I'm seeing that being able to be a possibility now, which before I was like, crap, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. Like, I'm just going to be sitting here making posts <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, hoping I, uh, you know, get a day off because I've not been without a day off since March 2nd. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm actually starting to see the possibility of having a day off, which is exciting to me. Yeah, because I mean, the story of you having your back on the wall or against the wall and just jumping right in the deep end, putting your rent on hold, and then having the confidence and also the fear learned as like fear, fear, what your fear was disguised as actual excitement. So it's like, I'm fearful because like, I don't know if it's going to like work this fast, but then it's also exciting that, you know, you need to do it, right? So that's kind of admirable, not kind of, but actually very admirable of you uh, to kind of jump in the deep end. But one thing also I want to just give a little 
knowledge here for everybody listening is that so many entrepreneurs try to stack cash. Like they try to post some shit on Instagram or Facebook. You're trying to make more money. You're trying to talk about profit margins when you just started. The number one gift the CEO has is to go to zero as quickly as possible, as many times as possible in a growth cycle. All that simply means is if you're going to make 50 grand, spend as much money on talent, on growth, on systems, on coaches, consultants, everything that can get you to that next year out, two years out, five years out, 10 years out, because that's so fucking important is go to zero as many times as you can. And I'm not talking about go get bankrupt and go in debt. Just don't be afraid of it. Because if you make five grand on your own and you use that to hire somebody and you're doing the thing and they're doing the thing and you can get to 10 grand and then you can add another five grand to hire somebody else, then another five grand to hire somebody else, you're thinning out your profit margins. But what you're building is your future, your freedom, your lifestyle. That's the most important thing that I can give advice for that I didn't take initially. I was given the advice and I said, fuck you, mom and dad. I'm not going to listen to you because I know better because it was my mom and dad. And one thing is they gave me free advice. And to me, it came out as a chore, like take out the trash, son. And I was like, fuck that. I ain't taking out this trash. This is my thing. Um, had I paid a mentor, I would have paid attention, right? Because it's like going to the it's like going to the gym with your friend. It's like maybe you'll meet them, maybe you won't. But if you have a trainer that you paid money to, you're gonna be there early and maximize that hour and fucking warm up 15 minutes ahead so you don't burn into your actual workout re regimen, right? So so there's something that sparks uh, a fire and an excitement, not just to have a good coach, but have a good community around it. Because there's yes. a lot of good coaches with really fucked up support and members that are just doing their own thing and don't give a fuck either. So it's kind of like that, that trifecta you need to look for um, what makes sense. So if anybody does need help, you can always drop it in the comment, DM myself, DM Cody. We're really attentive. We're fast on support. Um, we're very resourceful. We have a good team here. So um, we, we, like we have five the compliments you gave yourself in like three seconds. That was, that was like speed compliments. I liked it a lot. Caitlin, what do you think? Do you think that was enough or too many? Too many? Not uh, enough? Not enough. Not, not enough. Okay, good. Keep going then. Keep going. What else are we really good at? I, I could go on for days and say that kind of shit. But I didn't even realize it's subconscious. <laughs> I thought I was complimenting the audience, not me <laughs> or you. <laughs> I would actually, you know what? I would like to compliment the audience today because actually, you know what, Caitlin? You've got 50 comments on here. you got a couple of people. Big shout out to Chase Snow. He's been on here. Tracy Witten Keller has been on here for a while. Josh Centers just dropped in. All these guys are dropping love. They're dropping comments and all that kind of stuff. Just, just about you sharing your story, really. And, and to can me, we get a fucking hashtag Caitlin in the comments and some I, smash yeah. some hearts? I mean, we're. I mean, she's taking world. almost. Yeah, I mean, and and tell me what's like your favorite part of her story. Not what we do about her. I mean, look at what she's done. She's put her back against the wall. She foregone her rent. She put all in on herself. She worked at Walmart. She's a best-selling author. There's so many good criteria here of her traits. And now it's just a matter of taking what she's learned from like that previous mastermind that didn't necessarily feel like a family and using some of that information was probably extremely helpful. We may have just unlocked the information in a different method so it lands and makes sense. So it's scalable. So it's not necessarily, that's why I started off saying like there's a million people doing organic stuff but there's only like 999,000 or so that are, are those guys are doing it wrong right so or, or they're saying hey I tried organic like it doesn't work uh, I tried DMing I've seen this script before it's like well if you don't know how to operate the manual then that's always going to be your jam always making an excuse but if we get past excuses then we're going to focus on ourselves and then get the result because if you get yourself committed then you can actually take care of business you can grow it you can scale it because you got to first believe in yourself with certainty then you got to believe that you're capable of it then you've got to believe that you can come up with a good offer and then you have to believe that there's fucking gold behind that door if you can find mm -hmm. that goal it may take you a month it may take you uh, like three weeks like caitlin but there's a goal behind there and you just have to believe in those certainties and then once 100%. you're clear yeah once you're clear baby that shit just john just said in the chat she should get an award that's called the all-in award the trophy is a boat burning on fire taking the out so like a burn the <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I love that. Of I love Val, that. Val is going to, that's going to be a graphic when people join the GSD or buy one of our lower ticket funnels. It's just going to be like, I'm burning the boats. I joined the GSD. Burn that's going to be our graphic. Yes. And if any of you guys like that idea, steal it because hey, we're all about sharing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah. No, um, you know, 
like I literally it's it's been just crazy like to see it everything click together so quickly um because I feel like I've been on this road for like four years where it's been like uh now it's like okay okay (laughs) that's awesome like we've had like a lot of enjoyment having you in the group in the community your positivity is just fantastic and I love how everybody championing champions everybody inside like the threads the lives i mean we're all supporting it's not like this fucked up community where there's a lot of these out there i've been in them too where it's like somebody closes like a 10 grand a month deal and you're like fuck that dude like there's no way he keeps it like that's what they're thinking but in ours it's like holy shit that's amazing can you walk me through can you help me and people are zooming together that we don't even know because cody came up with the idea of like wolf packing like find your click that you guys are are somewhere above somewhere at your level and then grow together outside of like the six seven calls we have a week uh, because then you can like use that community as your family. And I mean, these people, some, some of these people like have been there for like over two years. Um, so, so they have a lot of knowledge, even if it's just pointing you to the script or pointing you to an SOP that can save you two, three weeks of time being lazy. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. where's the SOP right here? Here you got it. You're like, fuck, well, shit. If I would have waited to just actually look for it, I would have probably forgotten, maybe done it in a couple of weeks. So speed and, and accuracy and preciseness is absolutely imperative uh, because success loves speed, but we also have mm-hmm. to go at a pace where we don't stumble and fall. Exactly. Awesome. Cody, you have any questions for Caitlin? No, I think we've talked through it a lot. I guess my, my one last question would just be, you know, we run into a surprising amount of people who are exactly in your situation. Um, and it's the ones who come out and take action and do it are the ones that usually end up well off. So, you know, to the people out there right now and look, entrepreneurship, and let me look at all you people out there right now. You know, there's a lot of you right now that are riding the roller coaster. Some of you are taking hits right now. It's that time of year, the recessions come along, money's getting a little scarce. You're starting to think, what do I do? You know, it might actually be a decision like it was for Caitlin. She said, you know, rent or a program that can enhance my, my skill set and let me, let me monetize and, and join a family that makes sense for me. That might not necessarily be us and I'm fine with that, but just in general, you might be making that decision. Um, and, and Caitlin, what, what would you, what would you say to somebody in that situation? That's, that's similar to you right now. It, you know, soft Caitlin would say, Oh, it's okay. You know, you'll make your decision. But the Caitlin I have grown to be is like, get off your ass. And just go in, get out of the fucking scarcity mindset and do the damn work. You know, the thing is, is that there's only so many times that we can get at rock bottom. Rock bottom is the best place because you can only go up from there, you know? And so you might as well release the rock bottom by going in on yourself because the best investment you can make is on yourself and invest in a community that is going to get you from rock bottom back up to the top of the mountain might as well do it guys might as well do it otherwise no words burn the damn boats which is apparently a new award we're about to give out so i love that shit now if somebody was on the fence about us particularly now about the gsd what would you say to them i would say uh hop over the damn fence (laughs) you know like you know if you're on the fence you already made a decision that you're going to jump you know if you're on the fence you're already going to jump Why are you putting it off until you're worse off? You know, the thing is, is that if I had made the decision to join the GSD, you know, even a few weeks earlier and had jumped all in, I wouldn't have had to be at that point where it was literally a, you know, all or nothing scenario. And, um, you know, I can't take that back, but I am more than happy I jumped in when I did, you know. And so if you're at that point where you're on the fence about it, just jump. Okay, if you're on the fence, you're already up there. Like, are you going to climb back down and be like, oh, that sucked. And now I'm in the mud forever. Like, just jump into the ocean already. Love it. And we actually have a graphic somewhere that I hope Rahul goes and finds and puts in the thing that says get off the damn fence. I think (laughs) so. that'll be the next thing on there. No, I mean, look, Caitlin, to me, that that's amazing. Um, All I am right now is appreciative that you took the time out of your day to share the story with the the rest of our family out there in the free group. Rahul, any, anything that you want to grab from before we hop off? 
No, I, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. We're we're like really proud to be part of your journey and and see where this goes. I mean, we, we have a long way ahead and a lot of work to do, but I mean, your game, we're game. So once you're you're obviously 100% committed, so that makes us 100% committed. So our commitment levels are matched. They're they're matchies. <laughs> so hey, thank you for coming <laughs> on. And and anybody, like I said, if 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 anybody's on the fence, jump in like Caitlin mentioned, and you can start off with a conversation. And I promise you will not die or get pregnant by having a conversation with us. So that is it for today. Camp Caitlin, thank you so much for hopping on here. Uh, Cody, thank you for hopping on here too. I know you've been like a fucking rock in this business, just rocking in every direction, crazy schedule. You're 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 calendar looks like a fucking Jenga puzzle piece. When I look at it, it stresses me out for There's you. So I've, know that. I've cloned myself twice. There's three different codes. <laughs> awesome guys. Well, GSD fam that's watching this. Thank you guys for also taking your time participating, which is important and commenting and whatnot, showing Caitlin the love. If you want to give her a last little heart button, a hashtag Caitlin, that'd be awesome. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next spotlight interview. Cheers everybody. All right. Awesome, Caitlin. That was that was really, really fucking cool. Thank you for uh hopping on here. <laughs>